What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina. Today's video is going to be on the differences between the SSI Master Scuba Diver Rating and the PADI Master Scuba Diver Rating. And the reason I want to make this video for you, a gentleman that goes by the name of Straight Shooter recently on Scuba Board asked the question, would his SSI specialty certifications apply towards his PADI Master Scuba Diver certifications? And in short, no they will not. PADI will not accept any other training agency certifications towards their Master Scuba Diver program. But Let's take a quick look at training standards from both PADI and SSI, and I'll put them up here on the screen if you want to read through them with me. But let's take a quick look at each set of standards and see what it takes to earn a Master Scuba Diver rating from both PADI and SSI. So starting here on PADI side, the first thing that we want to talk about is age. You must be 12 years old. Now, Patty has a junior diver program that's from 12 to 14. So if you're a 12 year old to a 14 year old, you can actually earn the junior master scuba diver rating. Once you turn 15, it becomes the adult version. Uh, now, whether or not Patty still charges for that or whether your local dive shop will charge that to do the paperwork for you, that's completely up to them. But a 12 to 14 year old will actually earn the junior master scuba diver. Anyone over 14 is going to earn the adult version version but you got to be at least 12 years old and there's some prerequisite courses you must have of course open water advanced and rescue now with rescue you do have to have a current CPR first aid and AED certification and the good news is that Patty will accept that from anybody they will take their own which is emergency first response they will accept it from SSI's react right program uh, if you currently hold a EMT certification or higher such as an EMT a paramedic a nurse uh, or a doctorate's degree or whatnot that counts towards that uh, CPR first aid AED certification that it is equivalent um, so it can be accepted now open water advanced and rescue the good news is that can be through any training agency Patty will accept an open water say from SSI they'll accept the advanced adventure or full advance from SSI and of course the rescue they can accept the um, SSI stress and rescue which is equivalent to Patty's um, but those are the basically the three equivalent courses you must have but this is where it kicks it a little bit different than what SSI PADI training standard says it must be five PADI specialties so you must take five PADI specialties for it to apply towards the PADI master scuba diver rating and then of course you got to have 50 log dives which is just verified through the instructor or the shop that's processing your paperwork and then of course money PADI's big about money of course they want you to pay for that additional certification and that processing fee um, now I will say this as a PADI instructor and a former PADI store owner um, the stores hold the right to charge you an additional fee for processing as well, meaning to have their instructor or someone do the paperwork for you and send it off, they typically will charge you that extra fee as well, and then you pay the additional fee to Patty for the processing once it gets to Patty headquarters. But for the Patty Master Scuba Diver, you gotta be at least 12 years old, hold an open water advanced and rescue cert, including a CPR first aid AED certification you must have five patty specialty certifications log a total of 50 dives and of course pay the fee now that fee changes yearly uh, what it was last year may not be what it is this year and of course like i said the shops do hold the right to charge you an additional fee for processing on their end now let's take a quick look at the ssi master scuba diver rating um, their age limits is a little bit different they do require you to be at least 15 years old they don't have they do have the junior diver program, but they don't have the junior master scuba diver program. So at 15 years old is when you can earn the master scuba diver certification. Uh, of course, you gotta have same kind of the same requirements, the open water, the advance, and the rescue. Now let's talk a little bit about that as well. They will accept outside of theirs, open water, advance, and rescue. Um, I will make a separate video on their advanced certification because it is different than Patty's. Uh, what they consider advanced and Patty SSI considers advanced adventure. It's not a full advanced certification. Um, in the process of earning your master scuba diver through SSI, you actually earn the advanced uh, scuba diver certification at the same time. But the open water, advanced and rescue, pretty much same as Patty, with the exception of the differences in the advanced course. Uh, they also require specialties as well, but they only require four versus five. Now the good news about SSI, not only do they require four specialties, Two of those can be accepted outside of the SSI curriculum. So if you hold a nitrox and say a deep diver from Patty, they will accept it into the SSI 
uh, curriculum towards their master scuba diver. They'll give you credit for that. You must still take two additional specialties from SSI or hold two additional specialties from SSI. They too also require 50 log dives which must be verified through your instructor or through SSI headquarters. Now the biggest difference though is their master scuba diver program is free. They don't charge anything for that because during your certification process when you're getting certified in these specialties areas or your open water advance or your rescue, your instructor will actually go in and put in your total number of dives. So if you're taking your last specialty and you meet all these other requirements, when he asks you how many dives you have and you tell him, once he verifies it and put it into the system, SSI will already have a count for those dives and, and free of charge, the master scuba diver certification will be generated for you. It's not really a processing in so much as doing paperwork at the store's end. Uh, all that's done at the SSI end. All the instructor has to do or the store that you get certified through has to do is simply put in the number of dives you got and that certification is automatically generated. So the biggest difference between PADI and SSI is the money issue. SSI is free. Patty's does cost money, um, but the other biggest difference, of course, is the specialties themselves. Patty requires you to have five Patty specialties, to where SSI only requires you to have four specialties. Two does not have to be from SSI. They can be from any other recognized agency out there. But guys, that's it. That's the biggest difference between Patty and SSI. If you've ever had a question about it, now you know. This is a question we get asked a lot here simply because we teach through five different training agencies. I am a Patty Master Scuba Diver trainer. I'm an SSI assistant instructor trainer, I am a PDIC instructor trainer, an SEI instructor trainer, and a CMAS three-star course director. So I'm constantly training students in different agencies and merging them together once they get to that master scuba diver program or their dive master program, assistant instructor program, or even their instructor program. So this is something we deal with on a day-in, day-out basis with our students. But guys, if you got any more questions on the differences between PADI and SSI's master scuba diver program, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your question the best I can. If you like this video, simply hit that like button for me. It lets me know that you do like the content we're putting out. You want to see more uh, topics of, of this nature. But as always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.